Shame is the intensely painful experience of believing that we're flawed and therefore we're unworthy of love, connection and belonging. So my name is Ruben Wax, I'm a trainee counsellor and this channel's aim is to help you empower yourself and others. I remember this time being sat in this small room with, a, with my form teacher where she basically was telling me that you know, I was being suspended again and that meant that I was being expelled from my school. And I remember my stomach dropping and thinking, I've basically let myself down and I've let my family down and, and all of that, the way that you speak to yourself in those moments. And she leant forward and basically said to me, you're the worst behaved student in the year. And basically just drove home this message that I didn't belong. I'd been on report and probation for a long time in my school and it just made me feel like, you know, everyone else belongs doing this kind of work, academia, schoolwork, but I'm not capable. Now, I mean, I was incredibly fortunate at the time to have this incredible support team, uh, namely Jackie Burwell, absolute hero and my parents they all fought really hard to keep me in the school and luckily I got to pull myself together and get through GCSEs and A-levels and that was a real big struggle because shame you can often tell that it's at work from the way that you speak to yourself and sometimes the way that you speak about yourself to others so I'd often say you know no I'm not that intelligent I'm not naturally intelligent so I have to work triple hard to kind of get any same results as anyone else or I, I really thought and said that I had dyslexia because I felt like I was struggling so much with school which now where I'm studying um, as a 26 year old I realized that I definitely didn't have that but I really felt like I was incapable at the time. Now, this shame of limiting beliefs really reared its head again when I was at uni and I was studying history and I just felt, when I looked around, completely out of place and like there was no way that I was capable of doing this degree. Even though if you, you've gone to uni yourself, you'll probably know that I think that pretty much everyone feels that experience when they get to uni, which is just, this is such a step up and such a struggle, but it just took me at a different level, this limiting belief that there's no way that I'm capable of doing that. And so I ended up dropping out of uni and not to say that I regret that because that path wasn't for me. What I'm doing now, this drives me so much more with what I'm studying. But that limiting belief really did play a big part in that. So I'm wondering also again, have you ever had anything where you feel like I'm not good enough at that thing? Like I am not capable because really we're all capable if it's within our means, we are capable of most things. So is there any experience that has led to you feeling like I am not capable as a person? And shame is the intensely painful experience of believing that we're flawed and therefore we're unworthy of love, connection and belonging. But we're, we're designed, we need that connection and belonging. That's why rejection hurts so much. When we've been turned away, it hurts so much because of that. And look, in the end, we all experience shame. We experience it in everyday situations. It's not just kind of big events or one-time things. It pops up daily in things like money, relationships, sex, religion, work, family, in so many different things so looking into it can really help us to see where shame is playing a big part in our lives and also I think that it can be worth looking at shame and guilt and kind of realizing what the difference is because we often get them mixed up I, I definitely have done a lot in the past so the difference between shame and guilt guilt is when we feel bad about having done something something's happened so let's say I'm stupid for not studying for that test Whereas shame is feeling that we're flawed. So instead we look at the results and go, I'm stupid. So I wanna talk about the last big thing that had a big impact on me when it comes to shame. So when I was around 22 years old, I had this year long period where I was experiencing incredibly strong chronic anxiety and stress. And 
I didn't really know how I felt about it at the time. I remember feeling bad, but I wasn't really sure what my opinion was on what I was experiencing. But now I look back on it, shame was playing a part in that because I felt weak, I felt flawed. And as a result, I wasn't talking to people about it. I was isolating myself from the people around me because I wasn't sharing how I was doing. I was speaking to my family or my friends and I was saying a kind of surface level of what was going on. But what was really going on? What was I really feeling? I wasn't sharing that. And so what I... A re recently, a friend of mine, she spoke to me and she said, you know what? For quite a long time, I've actually been depressed. And that moment took me aback and it, it made me feel actually really grateful that she was sharing that with me and being vulnerable because I realized in that moment that we hadn't really been properly connecting at a deeper level for quite a while because really connection comes from a place of being able to be vulnerable and share how you're actually doing. And so through that period of time, that pretty much a year where I didn't tell anyone, I wasn't truly connecting with the people around myself and I was isolating how I was really doing. And, and, and that is how shame can often play a part. So we've got to remember that shame's biggest enemy is talking about it. When you name how you're feeling and, and what you're thinking, it really calms those thoughts down and it really reduces the symptoms and it can give you more perspective. And when you share it with other people, undoubtedly the people that love you aren't going to see those parts of yourself in the same way that you do in the in the negative thought patterns that you speak about yourself so share it talk about it it removes the power that it has over your life and i have found that it's made a really really big difference for me and i've got a bunch more content which you can check out which is about improving yourself and growing and understanding yourself better and you can also subscribe to see when more videos come out and next week's all about listening effectively so i'll see you then